Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. So this morning we're heading over to Prime. My wife is dropping me off again. The last time she had to drop me off over there was to pick up the car to break in. So after many, many, many miles and as per IAG's break-in specs and many oil changes, car is broken in and now today is the tune day. So we're heading back over there and um it is freaking pouring outside i'm talking about rainstorming the heat index yesterday was so insane that's why all this rain is here but i'm happy for it why because it's gonna be 70 degrees all day it's not gonna be over 100 degrees which means the temperature is just right for tuning you know what i'm saying so time for a long ass trip Stay tuned, guys. Well, by the way, guys, I promise I will be going over the specs of the build in a different video. There's just way too much going on right now, especially with my work schedule and Prime's schedule. So there's certain things that you're not going to see, um, certain things that you are going to see, like the first start. Um, you know, I mean, that well, I wasn't able to show that. It is what it is, as I told you. That's what you did? <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, I'll see you guys over at Prime. Look at this shit. On to George Washington at seven o'clock in the morning. Where the hell is everybody going? They all must be going to Prime. <laughs> all right, fam, it's early. Just got here. Got to see them pull my boy the Hulk out. Looks freaking fantastic. Tons of people are flooding in here for their cars to get checked out and worked on Saturday. It's a freaking busy, busy, busy day. You saw it? <coughs> Damn, this freaking car looks good. Fam. I don't know what the hell I was saying just now because I got totally distracted when they pulled this bad boy on the dyno. But just look at this shit right here. Freaking work of art, man. These guys work their ass off on this car. Look at that. Nice job, Rafi, on my intake air temperature sensors. Really nice. There's a second one down there. I don't know if you can see it. It's there right there. Look at this dope job relocating my expansion tank. Look at this big ass spoolie boy right there. Competition series AOS, or just actually converted it. Damn, for those of you guys who don't know, that's a big ass ID750 fuel filter. Nice. Work of art, man. Work of freaking art. Look at that shit. That shit is clean. Look at that Corsa Veloce manifold. Freaking beautiful. Woo. So anyway, guys, I was talking to uh, Dimitri about the car. You know, both of us were nervous right now because, you know, they've dealt with the smaller G-Series Turbo. This is the big boy right here. So this shop specifically, they have never <clears throat> tuned with one like this. I don't know. I think Junior might have in another location, but whew, I am nervous. We're about to find out. Like, I'm literally freaking nervous this this thing first car up first car up all right guys junior just started it up so it's about to be go time so here we go all right guys so i'm gonna let this dyno run play out and then the other consecutive three dyno runs i will cut it to where it peaks and finishes the run so we'll be closer to finding out what the actual problem was
guys, so today is yet another stumbling block on the road to 700 wheel or anything like that remotely. Um, so what's happening is once we get up in the RPMs and it calls some more fuel, there's a voltage drop. Even with that bigger alternator, I do not think it's the alternator is the problem. There could be a grounding issue somewhere. So now we can't obviously finish the tune and there has to be a lot of troubleshooting that has to get done. And we literally only have a couple weeks left before the show Wicked Big Meat. So I'm, you know, hoping that everything goes well. Um, it's a little bit disappointing, but you know, shit happens. So, and that has to be expected. I end up having to call my wife back, wake her up and be like, hey, come get me two hours away, so. But as I said, there's some type of voltage drop somewhere. I don't know, I can only speculate. So these guys are gonna have to troubleshoot it during the week and hopefully we have good news. All right, so a couple hours later, Dimitri had Rafi bring the car into the shop and you'll notice Rafi bringing a spool of wire under the hood real quick. And what happened was he started changing out two or three of the grounds of the car. Now you could actually add to it or totally change it out with thicker wire. Uh, mostly guys with a lot of music in their car do this, but any high horsepower build, I would definitely recommend this to, especially when you're running dual fuel pumps or like me running a big ass surge tank i'll put a picture up real quick and you can see how thin these grounding wires are and rafi actually told me subaru doesn't really make great grounds to begin with and later on in the vid you will see how the grounding issue that issue got fixed with the voltage drop just by changing the grounds into a thicker gauge wire so future video coming up All right, guys so hours later Rafi changed out some of the grounds that you guys saw and now he's about to we put it back on the dyno and we're about to try again he also checked the hob switch meaning the signal to send to the fuel pumps he wanted to see if that was functional and it was so three of the major grounds on the car was changed out and checked the switch so we're about to find out First second in this pool, you'll notice it's flawless. The voltage issue was fixed. It's the fourth and final pull where Junior added one extra pound of boost. You'll see the fuel cut. I said shaking his head is never a good sign the first three pulls were great this fourth pull junior added a pound of boost and it just tanked and it was not a voltage issue so they surmised it was the fuel pressure regulator that was too small and was being choked by the amount of fuel that was coming from the fuel pumps due to the surge tank <laughs> guys so verdict is in 
Now, there was no voltage drop. It was holding the uh, voltage all the way through. What's happening is the fuel pressure regulator cannot handle it because I got my AEM320 and three wall bros in there. Cannot handle it. So we're getting a bigger fuel pressure regulator. So that's pretty much it. See you guys soon.